Hello everyone, it's Michaela. Please excuse the sunburns. I didn't realize when I put on the shirt, it's so visible. Um, I wore a t-shirt to the beach and it did not work out in my favor. Today I'm going to be talking about a ton of different things you can learn if you feel like you've been at home and you're not very productive or you just want to learn something new. I've kind of divided it into categories and given examples for each one, so here we go. You can learn how to sing. I do not know how to sing, but I've always wanted to be able to sing, but practicing does make it better, so um, you could work on doing that. Likewise, you could also learn a musical instrument if you have one laying around the house, you, or you could start renting one. Uh, take lessons through YouTube if, um, because of coronavirus, if it's hard for you to get in-person lessons. Learn music theory, you could compose if you're into soundtracks. This is kind of a broad category, and I guess some of the others could fall into it, but anyway. Um, pottery, if there's a place in town or you could buy pottery um, supplies to work with. You could learn how to paint, whether with watercolors or acrylics. Uh, sketching, that's super easy. All you need is a blank notebook and a pencil. You can learn how to draw. Spray painting, this one my brother used to do. He used to do like spray paintings of planets on paper in the backyard. Uh, usually I think people associate spray paint with vandalism, but you can actually make such cool art with it. Knitting, which my mom wants to do once I leave for college. Sculpting. This one's a little bit weirder, I guess. well not weirder, this one's, that's the wrong word for it. I think that sculpting is just not something someone usually thinks of when they think of art. Whether you have a professional camera or just the one on your phone, everyone can take pictures and it, there is an art to it, which is really neat. And you can watch videos on YouTube again on how to do them better, but taking pictures is always fun. And writing, of course. So there's kind of two parts of writing, or even three actually, if you want to write nonfiction. Okay, so you could learn how to write nonfiction, do research on a topic and write up a book on it. Or you could learn how to write fiction and prose, and you could even learn how to write poetry, which is a little bit more difficult with the rhyming. Well, actually, it, it depends on who you are. Who it, for me, it's more difficult. Athletics. Again, this category does not really apply to me. I am not an athletic person, but you could learn how to do yoga. Um, you could learn how to do flips. This is very random, but my brother spent many hours doing this, learning how to do flips, and if it entertained him, maybe it'll entertain you. And also running. Languages. So you could learn a new language, a new foreign language, on Duolingo or by taking online classes. You could even try watching a movie or TV show with subtitles on and the audio in the foreign language that you're, that you're trying to learn. Another thing you could learn is sign language, which people don't really think of when they think of learning languages. But sign language is something I actually started to learn in preschool that they taught us, but then they didn't keep teaching us, which I don't understand. I think we should have kept doing that. First, grow your own herbs. Um, it's probably hard to see. They're dying. So I'm clearly doing something wrong and I need to learn how to grow my herbs better because they are literally turning brown. It's making me so sad. I've been watering them too and everything. But you could learn how to grow your own herbs. Um, you could plant flowers. You could learn how to grow vegetables and fruits. So you can supply your own kitchen with food, which is really neat. If you don't know how to swim, you can learn how to swim. Also, you could learn how to kayak. I've been going out with my dad kayaking about once a week or more this summer. It's been so much fun, so you should really learn how to kayak. And while you're at it, if you have the supplies, um, you could even learn how to fish. Weird random skills you could learn. Morse code, uh, solving a Rubik's cube, which has a very unique complex algorithm. Again, my brother tried to do this and he became quite successful at it, but then he stopped doing it. Um, and another thing my brother used to do that he learned how um, was juggling. Editing videos, which is really important in my life because I make videos for YouTube, but it's a really fun activity to do when you're bored. Even better, learn how to upload videos to YouTube and make more content for everyone to watch. You could learn how to code, which I have no idea how to do, but in this day and age, it is a critical skill for developing software and apps and other websites. You could even learn how to use games such as Minecraft, which, yes, it's a video game, but it's really a creative program and I've used it, I love it. It's basically architecture supplemented with really cute animals and flowers that I can pick to decorate my house. Of course, most people probably go harder than I do in Minecraft, but I like it all the same. For food, you could learn how to cook cultural dishes that you don't really see around your local area. You could also try memorizing recipes, like learn how to cook 10 basic recipes from memory so you don't have to refer to the cards or the books. Cooking is very different from baking, so you could also learn how to bake uh, perhaps desserts so you could learn how to decorate, decorating cakes. Learn how to bake things that you would typically buy, such as pizza dough, 
pasta dough. Um, the other night, actually, I made pizza dough for the first time because we thought we had pizza dough, but it must have been left at the checkout. So we made our own in 30 minutes, and it was really cool. Also, I apologize for all the bullets going off in the distance. We live near, like, a shooting range, and during the day, there's just these bullets firing off in the distance. Yeah, so I, I'm sorry for that very annoying sound. Health consists more of really important skills you can learn, such as CPR, which is incredibly important, especially if you're babysitting, which in itself is something you could learn how to do, babysitting. And lastly, learn how to treat various wounds, such as burns and stings. Some games you could learn. Um, chess, I have not played that in a while. Scrabble, I'm playing like 25 games at a time with my family on the app Cribbage, which again, I've been playing with my dad a lot this summer. And then card games because you can never know enough card games. Not everything you learn has to be tangible. You could also learn some theories and concepts, such as MBTI, which I just recently made a video on MBTI, so you could go learn about that. You could learn about um, just topics in general, such as economics. You could look into politics right now and read up on both sides and try to learn which point of views you agree with and disagree with if you're not already familiar with that. And then also just mathematical concepts. Fashion, I guess. As you can probably tell by my hair, I have not learned the first one, but complex hairstyles. I'm so bad at doing my hair, but I would like to learn this someday when I have the patience. Another thing is making your own clothing, buying your own fabric. And then learning how to do makeup, which is an art, actually. Lastly, memorize something. When my brother and I were little, we used to always sing the 50 States song, which is in alphabetical order. And that's kind of what inspired this part of the video. So you could learn all 50 states, you could learn all 50 capitals. Uh, better yet, learn all the countries of the world and all the capitals. You could also memorize all the presidents in order. The periodic table is something really good to get familiar with and learn. A Shakespearean soliloquy. Last year in English class, we had to recite soliloquies. Uh, I screwed up in front of the class, which was great fun, as I was the only person to forget my line. And finally, you could memorize where the constellations are. So the next time you're going on a walk, you can look at the night sky and be like, Oh, there is the Big Dipper. Hopefully this gave you an idea of something to learn or to teach yourself during quarantine. And I hope that you all learned something new through this video and you'll have inspiration. So anyway, have a really good week, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you, and bye.